The things I do for you all. Oh boy. Yes, welcome back to uh, Let's Knife Run Resident Evil 2, where uh, I thought last time I was all well and done, you know, we'd beaten the A-game with Claire, victory was ours, Birkin was defeated, the world was saved. But I guess I kind of knew all this time that uh, I couldn't exactly just do the A-game without taking on the more tricky and difficult uh, B-game. More tricky and difficult? Kind of implies the same thing. Whatever. So I figure, why not? Let's have a little delve into this. It has been... Was it's been six years since I played both the A and B game of this? My A game memory of how to play it has always been pretty solid because I've done it so many times. Even when I did the B game, uh, in, when I did this playlist um, a while ago... Even then, I was a little bit shaky on some details, a couple things I didn't remember, because I don't do the B game very often. For that matter, I'd never even done the, uh, I think it was the Claire B game, I'd never even gotten to the end of that, so it's like, I didn't even know what happened at the end of that. It's been six years. I've done a lot of things since then. I've, I've slept since then, folks, so I don't know what I remember of this. This could be tragic. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors, a young girl named Sherry. We'll never see her again. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. Which has since been retconned, but we'll ignore that. Gotta love retconning. So here we are, folks. Back on the city streets. About to have a very, very bad day. What have we got here? Sounds so casual. There's just a dead body on the ground. It's like, hmm, what do we have? Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Like, like there's someone's just like dropped something in the middle of the street. I don't know. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Yes, that man is still crazy. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? It's a pincer attack! Alright, that's far enough. Don't move! Don't move. No! <laughs> Bang! I think that comes under self-defense. Thank Hi. Wait! Don't shoot! Get down. Bang! <laughs> Still love to hear that. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Good thing I wasn't locked, right? Okay. And that some uh, A, it's not been locked, and B, the keys are apparently left in the engine. 
How fortuitous. What's going on? I know I could skip for the rest of this, but it's just I just love watching this. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. It works, Claire, but I wouldn't get too attached to it if I were you. That looks even worse when he the other way around. He like he flies out the okay? back of the car. He's like Still upside down. Is. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. I'll meet you there. Okay. Alrighty then, kids. Let's see just how little of the B game I remember. At the same time, at the same place, we have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. VP70. Cool gun. 18 shots, um, it's pretty good, um, and it can be improved even better. Guess what? We will never see it again. Sad. So sad. So yes, yeah, so the B game starts us on the other side of the uh, wrecked uh, carnage here, folks. Um, we have to take a different route into the police station. Fortunately for us, it's immediately here. Like, like immediately here, we start straight away, um, and we're almost already at the police station, folks. A lot shorter, but it's not all good. Now, there are zombies dotted around here, which could prove interesting, because I kind of have to dodge all these guys. No way to defeat them. This takes us into the parking garage, but the shutter is down, and we can't do anything about that. We need to swing on back here, find the cabin key, which we do require. Hey, quiet now. Then we use that to open up the door here. And we're immediately back into familiar territory. Isn't that nice? Woohoo! Yeah, so that's why you're not allowed out there in the, in the B game. In the A game, even. Hang on round, some ink ribbon. I'm actually going to take the ink ribbon because I would like to stock up with some, some, a couple of save items. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Let's get out of here. Back out here. Damn zombies. When will you ever learn? Come on, lady. I would very much like to get to the, um... Thank you. Cheers. Oh, yeah, cutscene. Remember that helicopter we saw? I still think that's Chief Irons in disguise. Fortunately, he's daft. He also has the worst accuracy in the world. Except he manages. I love it, he doesn't manage to shoot either of the damn zombies in front of him, barely. But he manages to nail the helicopter pilot. Amazing. Amazing. And so that's how the uh, helicopter comes down here, folks. Uh, 
Because of idiots. Isn't that great? Oh, by the way, this is um, Leon's knife. Um, interestingly enough, although the two knives the characters use are the exact same knife in the menu, Leon's looks a lot more impressive than does Claire's. Um, if you ask me, it looks much more like a proper blade. That's nice. Alright then. So we need to go find the valve handle. You'll notice the valve handle was not in the cabin. That's the main problem you have with the B game. Not only does it change the direction of like how you enter the, the map and now how the PlayStation kind of the paths you're likely to take, it also completely changes um, the item placements um, in the uh, in, throughout the entire game basically, which does keep you on your toes. So you might go to a, a place expecting to find a certain item and then find something completely different. That can really screw with you, folks. Can really screw with you. Hello there. I'm not going to stop by and have a look. Well, yeah, he's he's dead, folks. Don't worry about that. It's just, ow. Let's just unlock this and get through here, just to um, reset the enemy spawns. There's one herb down there. What's down here? Two herbs up there. Very good. We'll, uh, we'll just collect this one for now. We'll leave those down there, I think. Actually, you know, actually, I should just go and get them. Be done with it. I might as well stop this all together while I've got some inventory space. And it won't be long until we get to a uh, item box there. I could do that now. And it's tempting, but I have just taken all those herbs, so I probably shouldn't. Could go down there, open up the um, open up the safe there, but I'm not gonna bother. I think you actually do need to open the safe in this game. Um, I'm pretty sure you it's something you have to actually do. Oh yeah, there's liquors in here as well. Not zombies, liquors. Isn't that wonderful? Right. Don't want those. I would like. I would like. I would like. Whatever. So, oh, it's the secretary's diary. E. It's yeah. We've seen this one already. Yeah. We've seen that. Not important. All right then. We'll drop those off there. Grab some ribbon, which is good. And then we can get to talking quickly about some of Leon's uh, more fancy, how he differs from Claire. Drop that off. Actually, I should drop this off here as well. There we go. Drop a couple of herbs off. So yeah, so Leon starts um, with the Lighter of Lighter. Um, he is allowed to um, keep that. He doesn't have the lockpick, unfortunately, though. Which means he has to get hold of these things. The small keys, or the old desk keys, or whatever the hell you want to call these guys. Um, he has to stock these up so he can unlock the um, little cabinets um, and various bits and pieces that Claire manages to. Um, Sort of very similar to um, Chris and Jill in the original Resident Evil game. So that's the thing we need to keep hold of us. Um, usually it's kind of awkward to keep small keys on me, but considering that I'm only going around with the knife, I'm basically going to have more or less an automatic s slot free, so I might as well just put all the small keys in there um, and run with that, folks, which is exactly what I'm going to go and do. Well, that's going to be our small key little um, holding pen over there. Right, so we have a decision to make. We can either go straight down or we head to across the second floor. I think I'm going to head into the main hallway here. The logic being that I want to do this and get the escape ladder down immediately. Uh, that would be a very, very good thing to do. So we're going to do this immediately now. Sooner this is open, the sooner we have access to both pathways. And of course, this area is usually pretty safe. There is a... Um, I think the Unicorn Medal is down this pathway here. 
Unfortunately, there are zombies everywhere, and there's no real way to run past them. At least, not easily. And there's a lot of them. So... I think I'm gonna come back to this later, when I've got a bit more health on me. Because I'm gonna have to take some damage, there's not much I can do about it. It's gonna hurt. This, I believe, is already locked. Yeah, so that's already locked. And I believe these are locked as well. Yeah, these are electronically locked as well. So we need to get hold of the card key um, that would normally Marvin would have uh, before we can open up any of these doors. This is why you do have the option of... You will make a lot of use out of the um, staircase on the east side because at least it gets you to bypass um, the door that's locked here. However, it does lock off the entire west half of the um, entire building until you can find a way to get hold of the car key. Because the car key also opens up the door up top as well into the library. That's also controlled by car key. So until you can do that, well, you're sort of out of luck. I assume there's nothing over around here, down this far side. I have no idea. I'm just going to look. Out of curiosity. Yeah, you aren't allowed over there. Just figured I'd have a little wonder here. We're not allowed to use the little vent there that gets us into the garage like you can do an outbreak. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, cool. Okay. So yes, there's nothing for us else to do down here except for putting in the unicorn medal. Now I might try and do this now. Also, hello shotgun. This is where you find the shotgun or the bowgun on the B game. It's in the desk, um, the main desk here. Another good reason to come here straight away to get hold of um, your secondary weapon. I'm pretty sure it's the only place it spawns in the entire game as well, so you want to get that as quick as you can. Yeah, see, that's electronically locked as well. That's the library. Yeah, I just got to take hits here, folks. Nothing I can do here. Just take hits. Shove the zombies down, grab the unicorn medal, and just power out. There's not much else you can do. There we go. If there's a better way around that on an knife run, I don't know what it could be. And if you're going to try and stab all these bastards down... I mean, you've got plenty of space to slowly back away and stab them if you want to try, but I just... You might as well just do that, to be honest, just be done with it all. Anyways. So, let's go and see what's hiding in here today. Is it still the spade key? It is. Now, what doors is the spade key used on? You've got the doorway by the star's office. And you've got the door that leads into the the, the, the log the log room. All the files and stuff where you get the, um, the, the crank. I don't think there's anywhere else we actually use this key on off the top of my head. But I could be wrong. We'll take it. We will take it. I was debating whether to just leave it here and just not bother with it. Just leave it for now. But I guess I'll take it for the time being. What we really need to do is find where that bloody car key is. I think I remember actually where the car key is now. I think I've just remembered. But we shall have to see if I'm correct. In any event, not much else for us to do now but to head to the um, to the uh, mess room, I believe. So we'll drop this off. Uh, we'll drop that there. 
We won't take any more herbs because there's a couple more for us to grab on route. So we'll do that. Yeah, I'd say my mind is just like, I'm just gradually trying to remember how the B game works and the paths I'm, I'm supposed to take. Shut up. You grabbed the health when you first came in here, Shadow. Well done. Never mind. Right, so. We still need to um, open up the safe. I don't know if the game will let me open up the safe immediately without having read the file. I don't know. We shall see. I assume this is still the heart key. It is. There's the valve handle, folks. So we're going to kill the zombie down here. Please die. Please die. Shit. Oh, he's dead. Good, right. Valve handle, take it, and then we're going to get out of this room. There we go. So at least he's dead. So that deals with that situation there. Right. Now, I do not remember if... Um, I don't remember if we can open the safe without having read the files. So I'm going to see if that actually does work or not. I could, it may not be. This could be fun. This could be fun. Grab our herbs. They're hiding down here. Oh, yeah. Let's take the hits. Oh, I can! Nice! Shotgun shells, which we obviously can't use, and the map. So again, you don't actually have to open this on either game. It's not imperative to beating the game, folks. But having the map is always handy. Please don't kill me. Oh, hello. Yeah, so see, that's where the two... Oh, it's only the one door. Ah, oh, yes, of course. In this game, folks, um, we don't use the spade key on the second floor. I forget. It's um, because that's the route we'll probably end up taking anyway. So, um, yeah, that's actually not open for us. Great. All right, then. So, only question is, do I go around the side to the interrogation room now or not bother? No, we're not going to bother. We've got the valve handle. That's what we were looking for. So we're going to run with that. That was the key item we need to move on with the game. I'm trying to think if I need to go back there now to do stuff, which I can't do later. But I don't believe that's the case. We should be alright. Swing on over yonder. Why am I here? I know why I'm here. I hadn't intended to actually go this direction, but thinking about it, this is probably a wise choice. I want to take these herbs and I'm going to mix a bunch of these up. There we go. Valve handle, and we're going to put that one away, and we're going to put that one away. Actually, no. We'll just run with those three. That should be fine for now. Just put some health in the box. For safe keeps. I suppose I didn't actually need to do it now. I was actually going to take it all with me, but change of plans. I really hope these liquors are not going to stay here. And that they're going to disappear once I set fire and um, take out the fire. But I don't know. I don't know what their spawning tendencies are like, so... We're going to find out, everyone. Alright. Let's go and get the fire out. Ooh. 
Lovely. Sweet. Now, if we go ahead and check the uh, the wreckage of this, there are shotgun shells. Is there anything else of necessary, though? I don't know. I need to check. No, there is nothing else here. Right. That's not what I thought was going to be there. Except I think I now know what's going to happen. So, that we needed to do that anyways. Alright then. I'll drop the shells later. Let's get back through here. Except... Do note when you enter here, you can't get back because of the bray. It is now blocked. You will not be able to go back to any of those areas. Also, we're not alone. I know you're there. Tyrant, because why not? Ah, oh, shit. Now, obviously, we are in absolutely no state to fight this guy, which is normally what I would do. Just unload on this fucker. We are going to have to do some, do some dodging and duking and whatever else. This could be fun. Please don't kill me. Run! Ow. He's kind of hard to get by without him hitting you the once. But he can really hit like a train. There's absolutely no way I'm fighting him. He can go straight to hell. He's been pet to death. Do you still have ammo on you? You do. Alright then. We'll leave him be. I don't know if he'll chase me. I haven't a clue. Normally, I down that bastard in the first room I see. Uh, I do not wait around at all. He is very dangerous. And even if you do down him, folks, he will get back up and we will have to deal with him later on. He's going to be basically a fool on our side for the entire game. Almost like a little, uh, little preamble practice for Resident Evil Nemesis, maybe. I'll wait to look at it. Anyways, we're going to drop the valve handle. We will not be doing this for a long time. Um... Do I take the spay key now? I can. I probably should. Yeah, we'll take the spay key now. Actually, no. No, we will not. We shall leave said spay key. Alright. What we want to do is we want to get into the room down the back. Um, so we need to negotiate our way past some liquors, which could be fun. Shit. Bound out! How the fuck did he miss that? Not a clue. But we dodged it. That could have been close. Alright, so we're in here. Because we do want to eat. Here's the shotgun shells you can find as Leon. There's loads of shells dotted all over the place. And there is some ink ribbon hiding in there. Which we're going to take quickly. Beautiful. We've got the old puzzle here with the um, with the jewels and that. What we've really come in here for is this. This is where you find the blue car key in this game. We don't get it off Marvin. That's for sure. <laughs> So we can now take this and uh, get access to the whole precinct. Isn't that swell? Oh yeah, you fucking spawn, don't you? Shit, I forgot you fucking did that. Steady. Steady. 
D. That fuck is homing in on me, isn't he? He knows I'm here. Run! <laughs> Got the dodge. We'll have to come back in there later to do the Virgin Heart stuff, but, um, yeah. Can't see anything here. This is a terrible fucking set of cameras. We're going for it. Don't know where the other guy is! <laughs> he was angry! As was the other dude. Sort of bumbled my way through there, but I'll take it. Alright, folks. So we have the blue card key in our possession. This is most fortuitous for us. So, we're going to go ahead and save the game. And I think I'm going to call that an end of the video. Um, for now, I think that's acceptable to me. We'll just save that the same one. That's fine. Lovely. Alright then, folks. So, next time. Uh, now that we have got the um, blue car key in hand, we can use this to um, allow full access across the entire precinct, folks. Which is good. Only thing I haven't decided yet is what pathway I'm going to take. Haven't worked that one out yet. Wait, doesn't the game, like, make me go up the second floor or something? I don't even remember. I think it does, actually. I think, yeah, the second floor... I think in the B game it makes you go up the second floor. And locks this one and the one on the bottom right, and it doesn't lock the bottom left. I, I honestly don't remember. I legit do not remember how the game works. We'll have to see anyways. But that'll be it for next time. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all then.